Uh, good morning, praise the Lord, everyone. Uh, today we are continuing with our uh, prayer and fasting. We have already uh, covered 18 days. This is the 19th day. And our theme for today is forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. My name is Elijah Mobe, and I want to take this opportunity to thank God that he has given us uh, this day uh, to reflect on what we have been doing for uh, uh, this period we have been going through uh, prayer and fasting. On behalf of the uh, Sirikwa Pentecostal Fellowship uh, workers, I want to uh, thank God that he has given us the opportunity uh, to have a job which we can uh, depend on to meet our needs. Yesterday we were told uh, about um, uh, we were praying about giving us our um, this day our daily bread. So I want us to consider that uh, that prayer is answered. That God has given us opportunity to serve in whatever capacity so that uh, we are able to meet our daily needs. Now in uh, connecting this to the uh, forgive us our sins uh, as we forgive those who sin against us in the context of a workplace what are the things that we can consider as sins that we need to be forgiven what are the things that we uh, look at in terms of uh, being sin, sinned against as workers. Sometimes we take uh, our employment uh, for granted. We are not very keen with issues to deal with integrity, issues to deal with honesty, issues touching on, um, on, 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 on discipline. And also, sometimes we don't even remember to thank God for what he has uh, given us. We take our jobs for granted. So there are things that we do and we think that they are, they are not sin. You know, things like when we are not honest in our place of work, when we are dishonest, when we are not people of integrity, when we involve ourselves in corrupt practice, practices in the, in the workplace. That is, not, that is not right. So even again in our workplace, we look at uh, those of us who are uh, in positions of responsibility. We have people working under us. How do we treat them? Do they feel we are fair? Are we just? the decisions that we take that affect their lives. So let us reflect on this, even as we continue to pray and ask God to remind us that in whatever we do, even as we read in uh, Colossians 3, uh, verse 23, that whatever we do, let us do it heartily, work at it heartily as serving God and not man. Thank you. May God bless you, even as you continue to uh, reflect on uh, prayer and fasting, and specifically our jobs. God bless you. Thank you.